tactical solutions to win on the street against a committed attacker. Great, excellent, excellent, that's it. Benefits of a complete and effective edge weapons program are far-reaching and highly valuable to all enforcement personnel. My name is Sheriff Rick Silver with the Washington County Sheriff's Office in Oklahoma, and I just went through the two-day course with no lie blades. And in my opinion, in my 23 years, it's some of the best training I've ever had. Uh, I've never had the opportunity to have any kind of edge weapons training and I think uh, it's a life-changing course and I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, it will test your skills and it will give you uh, better skills to perform your job and hopefully keep yourself safe and your community safe. Edge weapon attacks of all types happen to enforcement personnel anywhere at any time. What is often heard is I'll shoot him. First, one must identify the threat, then get their weapon into play. This is possible only when distance is available. Your teams will dramatically benefit from NLB Defensive Measures Edge Weapons Tactical Solutions. How you doing? I'm Tom Jeffers. I'm a police officer with the Delaware River Port Authority Police Department. We're located in Philadelphia in Camden County. Uh, I had the good fortune of starting my career 20 years ago in Camden County Department of Corrections. Uh, what an incredible learning experience. Five years inside that county jail was awesome for me to start learning some movements on people and, and learning to read them. From there I went 15 years on the streets of Camden for the Port Authority, uh, North Camden. Interesting. All kinds of experience through that. I've been blessed with all kinds of great training, both in uh, defensive tactics, all type of tactical stuff, and uh, street stuff. Wall. I got marked up by his blade system. Um, it gives you an indication immediately of whether what you're doing is effective or not. I realized that, that what I was doing was incorrect. It wasn't going to work. I was not going to survive a knife attack. By the end of the first day, and especially in the second day, um, I started to pick up on Hank's system. Hank teaches it in a, in a simplistic way where you can get it. Everybody can get it. It makes sense, and by the end of the two-day class, not only was I, my, my confidence restored, um, but now I have a, a, a renewed faith that there's no way I'm not going home to my family. Nobody's going to keep that from me, whether it's by knife attack or anything else. With this system, I'm prepared to take on what I have to take on. Hank, you're awesome. Thank you. This is the combative triangle. At the bottom you have personal weapons moving into blunt and then edge weapons. As we all know, personal weapons are not as dangerous as a blunt weapon, which are not as dangerous as an edged weapon. By being able to function successfully with an edge weapon, it makes the others so much easier to deal with. So how do we do this? We start from the beginning and we take a look at the skill set of the group that we're dealing with at that time and what is it going to take to get them up to speed to deal with an edge weapon attack. Everybody has a different body type, everybody has a different skill set, everybody has a different mindset. So we go ahead and we'll take a look at each area of, of how they function. You know, and we start off with, the, as you saw earlier, the high line, then we get, you know, we'll go into the kicking line, 
We'll look at how they deal with the clinch position, how they deal with the trapping position, you know, in that tussle position. We transition into knife work. We're going to see some neat stuff here, how to work the mindset. Let's go, let's go, push it, push it, push it. We got three more, three more, ready? Combined with physical output. There you go, that's much better. That's it, that's it, that's it. Here we're down at Quantico working with the instructors that instruct their instructors. Yeah, we'll just do a disorientation drill. Just like any punch, any situation is going to disorient someone and we work to recover. Now we're going to break out the no lie blade, which changes the whole landscape of stuff. This is the simunitions of edge weapons. It really makes a tremendous difference uh, in, 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 the, in the results that we get on the deck. And as you see, all of a sudden the pace picks up because the mark doesn't lie. It's the tool, it's the simunition of edge weapons, and it really makes people, because they don't want to, a lot of times it's the peer pressure, but the tool does what it's supposed to do. It gives an immediate, accurate, memorable mark that lets someone know how they are successful or unsuccessful. And here you see, you know, it doesn't matter if it's you know, a girl or a kid, you know, this guy, and you can see he's got martial arts skills, but he is just slashed up. Here's the impact injury. What would this impact? Now, this one's all about the blade. Based on thinking about the blade, are these slashes or stabs? That's bad. The impact of our injury. Okay, now, here's the deal. And here we're going through the striking portion because you got to learn how to where the strikes or angles are coming from in order to know how to defend them. And then we go straight into the defense. Notice this is not complex stuff. What's done on the right side is done on the left side. And then as you see, the class starts to progress. And uh, we get pretty intense. And here's the NLB team. And these are all active law enforcement in in high crime areas. These guys, you know, are, we've put together a great team. Here we're doing some pre-work. Figuring out how we're going to deal with this particular group. So each course is customized for your people, their missions, and their abilities. Blue knife, who's gonna try and kill you, take you away from everything you love. You gonna let that happen? Hell no. Are you gonna let that happen? Fire it up, get up there, see what you're looking at, monitor your breathing, get the hands up, right? Where's the angle coming from? That's all you gotta figure out. Then you get it and you attack, right? All right, let's go. Up to the right. That instructor is uh, one of the SWAT guys from Tri State area. I'm going to kind of let this run and let you watch this, and I'll jump in every now and again. He's not done. He's going into the next room. we we'll do this in a movement house or a shoot house or whatever's available to us. Next here, you know, it's a, a little bit, bit of a bigger gal. And watch how she traps that arm. Awesome. And this is not choreographed, as you can see. So. Really 
really make them work. We really make them earn it. Here's another shoot house, different location. That's a SWAT commander there going through. You know, and, and here's the thing. You notice as their skill level, uh, the skill level of a student, we as instructors pick up the skill level of it as an attacker. You know, these guys are command uh, down there in uh, North Camden, which is just a rough area. You know, this is his same run. He is working. He is earning it. And you notice, man, at the end of the day, you know, even with the simplistic, highly effective, brutal defense, man, when the threat stimulus is there, you it doesn't come out textbook. There you go. Way to go, guys. Way to go. And notice the camaraderie we have. You know, amongst you know, guys that are out there on the street. We're all doing it. We're all doing the good work. It's fantastic. We're really proud of the work we've done in the groups that we've worked with over the years. And I think it all started with a drawing on a napkin over a decade and a half ago. Here you go with the 2012 Hall of Fame induction. That's my beautiful wife. There's the coding numbers that you want, DOD contractor. And here is our performance rating, 97, which you know is unheard of in the industry. Hi, how you doing? I'm Hank Hayes, the CEO of No Light Blades. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you're interested in you getting your men or women through our training program, whether you be in law enforcement, corrections, or military, give us a call. We'll make arrangements. I'll come out to your state, wherever you are, and we'll discuss getting your people through our accredited program. Thanks. Train hard. Stay safe.